Hello, I'm NBG and welcome to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be going over my launch strategy for both alchemy and inscription and talk about the uh, route I'm going to go early as I then watch the market and kind of see the direction I need to go. So without further ado, let's get started. As with the other videos, this is just a quick disclaimer. Please go whatever direction you would like to go in terms of the profession spec tree. There is going to be a lot of correct answers. And honestly, if we all went the same direction, we would all lose money. Um, it, it's really going to be wild, the start of the expansion, to really see um, what is going to be the big money makers. I'm making my choices based on my preferences. I do firmly believe that going for the vast majority of, of the professions going a server specific good like crafting armor or something like that and becoming the best at crafting that is probably going to net the best gold in the long run. However, it's also going to be more difficult to do that. I'm going to take a very safe approach in what I do, but what I do it does not have to be what you do. I'm just letting you guys know what I'm thinking and uh, I would love to know what you guys are thinking as well. First up today is alchemy. Alchemy, honestly, is a really, really hard one for me. And that's for a few specific things. If you're not aware, the way that alchemy kind of works is you have these uh, experimentations that you can do and they can give you in the hopes of discovering new recipes. A couple things can happen. You can learn nothing. You can learn something amazing. You can learn something that's highly valuable. Um, you could... You could also, it could brick, right? Like I actually have it on cooldown because the first time I did it just messing around, it, it made it, it exploded and now it's on cooldown. Um, there's too much variation and there's too much chance. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get really lucky and make some awesome potion and, and have the ability to have some amazing, I don't know, air specific file or something like that, that they boom, learn it right away and then they know, wow, I can just push, push my skill and my inspiration and blah, blah, blah towards being able to craft this early and often. I, I just don't like the way that alchemy works in general. So kind of like my other choices, I think I'm gonna go a safe route just because I I don't like it. I don't I don't like alchemy in the expansion, but alchemy always makes good gold, right? So don't worry about it if it's your main thing. I'm sure you'll be just fine. Um going into what I'm personally going to do, I initially had the idea to go the transmutation route um you know a, as you put more into this you know you have more chance of, you know more resourcefulness things of that nature it's weird because of the way that resourcefulness works like if i go and look um let's go to a transient i've actually already done one messing around so this says a you know with just these points in here, 28% resourcefulness. So you have blank percent chance to use fewer tradable um, re, uh, reagents. I'm, I, I don't know exactly how that's gonna work. Like take, take order of elements, for example. How do I have a less chance to lose less? Like, or, excuse me. How do I have a percent chance to use less? I guess I need to do it until it procs to see. But, like, there's only one item that gets used for this. If this procs, do I just not use the Awakened Order? Right? Is that the way that's going to work? Or I don't think it's going to give me more of the rousing. Like, that's the one I did, you know, and it gave me, you know, and it gave me the uh, three each of these rousings. If resourcefulness procs, is that going to give me, it's not going to give me additional resources it's a chance to use fewer tradable to use fewer that means i have to use it so the way that i think about it if resourcefulness procs during a transmute i would think you flat out save this awakened order i wish i had the answer and if somebody does please let me know down in the comments i would love to know um but i like that idea for the fact that if that's the way that that works, there's a chance that like I can go to do a transmute and flat out not use this awakened order, boom, and just basically gain stuff for free. Um, same goes for like let's say I don't I don't know which one's going to be the most expensive, right? Like I don't know the one that I'm primarily going to do. I have no clue. Um, we'll know after 
everybody starts getting deeper and we start crafting we start seeing which ones are more valuable whether it's the awakened fires or whatever so take that with a grain of salt but like for this instance you know on resourcefulness i have a chance to save to use fewer it's only using two so i would think if it saves it's just going to save me like one of them and maybe it's random on which one it basically saves me from using um given how expensive these might are these might be i like the idea of being able to have a shot at doing that right i figure whenever this procs you're going to be saving a lot of gold because these are going to be fairly expensive now going into this more as you as you max out transmutation you have a, an improved understanding of it and allowing you to uh, do so more frequently and higher capacity don't really know what it means by higher capacity but maybe that's the amount of like uh, saved like I, I don't know exactly how it works to where like if I if I don't transmute for a week is it just gonna like save up all my chances and oh I can now transmute five times because I haven't logged on in like five days like I don't know exactly how that works but either way does that mean you'll just you know instead of saving a maximum of five chances I can now save ten you know whatever the number happens to be more frequently meaning instead of cooling down every 24 hours maybe it cools down every 18 you know I, I'm assuming that's kind of how that works either way if transmutation works that way, that means you don't need inspiration, you don't need skill. You're only really going to want resourcefulness because you're going to have a higher chance of basically just saving from using that transmute. And you're going to want multi-craft. Now, that goes into if this is good, if this works, what direction am I going to go? Well, I would get five into here. I would pump out transmutation and get to that point where I can do as much transmute transmute as fast as possible. And then potentially, if that's the way that resourcefulness works, if I'm correct on that, because I, I again I don't know. I, I'd really like to have somebody else's opinion on that. I haven't like come on here daily doing that to get a proc and be like, oh look, that's exactly how it works. I, I haven't been able to do that. I've only um, had a kind of a couple hours with each profession for the most part but that would then lead me to think that going the resourceful routines route after that to just stack as much resourcefulness as possible to have just more and more procs of flat out saving and not using one of the awakened which just equals more gold right might be the way that I would go and then anything that can give you multi-craft, which really I don't even know if there is anything in particular, particular that would give me... I mean, you can get multi-craft like if you go specifically for potions or specifically for files. You can get multi-craft that direction for those specifically. I don't know if there's a good way to pick up multi-craft for doing something like this. That's probably going to be you using your um, the equipment, right? any profession equipment or whatever the case may be that can give you uh yeah any of these profession accessories multi-craft is gonna be super important it's gonna be super important for alchemy in general but that's that's what you would want to get so that's that's the direction i'm thinking about going because i do believe those are the only two things that really are going to help you for the most part is multi-craft and resourcefulness and I'm kind of going out on a limb thinking that resourcefulness could be better for transmute over something else. Because if you if you do hit, if you do save, what is it going to save? It's not going to like give you back a couple rousing or something. It's going to flat out save the awakened or flat out save the fire. And that's, you know, potentially a lot of gold. So that's the direction I'm thinking of going. And again, that's mostly because I don't like the idea of the experimentation. And I'm just kind of down on alchemy. And I have a feeling my alchemist might just be a daily transmute kind of guy. Um, another option you have, again, I do think multi-craft is going to be insane on alchemy in general. So you could rush being able to do multi-craft. Just, you know, basically you're going to want to focus on vials or focus on potions specifically. Get your multi-craft up, start working on the skill. Maybe you have this really awesome air potion or whatever. You know that that's super valuable so it's like boom 
you want to work on getting skill towards that. You want to work on skill getting towards the specific air. You want to start pumping out the multi-craft, so on and so forth. Um, those, again, are going to be great choices. I just think I'm going to go the transmutation route, and I might try to gather multi-craft the best I can on accessories, which isn't going to be a lot, and it's going to be a low chance, but I think it'll be worth it when it procs, given how expensive the Awakens are probably going to be, and I will probably shoot for resourcefulness, just to hope that if that does proc on a transmute, that I'm going to flat out save a full Awakened, as I discussed earlier. Up next today is Inscription, and oh my goodness, is there some options here. I think Inscription is going to be absolutely nutty, and I think you have a lot of directions you can go that are all good in, the, in their own way, right? Let's, it goes without saying that I think the way to really make gold, and I do think you're going to have to be a big spender to do this. I think it's going to be mighty expensive. Um, however, it's going to be uh, one of those spend gold to make gold kind of things, and that's honestly just the Dark Moon decks in general. They're going to be uber expensive. They're going to be uber expensive to craft. They're going to be uber expensive to buy. Um, and as long as they are strong, right, they are going to be absolutely worth it. Um, but you better have some gold to spend. I do have gold to spend. And a lot of me wants to go and really focus on pumping out some Dark Moon cards. If you look at, you know, how you get these primarily, you know, it's going to be making where the hell they at. Um, okay, so here's the box, right? This is what turns into the trinket. Um, Dark Moon decks, you know, Watcher Inferno, right? The Inferno, periodically shuffle the deck, blah, blah, blah. There's that. You have... If I wasn't blind, this would be a little bit... Oh, it's down more, isn't it? Let's find it, sorry. The uh, bundle of cards, you know, where you tear this open for some Dark Moon cards, contains only native, um, contains cards only native to Dragon Isles. So being able to sink a lot of resources into gathering more cards. This is where multi-craft is going to be insane, considering how much you have to spend. Resourcefulness could be really good too, just given uh, how many awakens that you have to use. That is going to be, uh, Again, just look at all of that. That's that's going to be quite expensive. However, the fire one looks incredibly strong to me. Um, I would like to potentially rush this route if I if I want this. Okay, let me take a step back. Sorry, I should have gotten my thoughts straight first. If I'm going a safe route on the majority of my other professions, this could then be my profession of. I'm going the safe route there to like kind of guarantee that I'm going to make money and then I can funnel that money into going hard on inscription in the hopes of hitting it big. Um, I like the idea of pushing into any one of the decks, you know, it's probably for me it would be in particular fire going in to make the uh, Darkman deck box Inferno. You know, if you go this direction, then you'll have a chance to find increased chance to find Dark Moon Cards of Fire. Um, let's see. You know, here to learn how to extract Awakened Fire from some of the uh, Dark Moon Cards. That could be uh, a nice money saver. Honestly, that could be just a way to make gold is taking some of those cards and just uh, tearing them up into, into fire, potentially. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very highly considering going this route but it's going to be expensive and it's like what would I want after that after that you're gonna want skill you're gonna want resourcefulness you're gonna want inspiration even um, same thing as as always for all the other professions but I really do think I want to push the ability to be maybe the guy who can craft this deck um, in particular hoping that I can craft it at high quality where to go again there's so many options here that I have a hard time, there you go, um, of being able to craft this as high a quality as possible, or in general, just being able to craft it. Um, yeah, I, I, big money, big money on being able to do this. 
um, especially being able to craft it at a higher item level. So I do think that I potentially want to do that. However, the good news with Inscription is if you don't have big money or if you don't, maybe you don't think the Darkmoon decks are going to really be around for the entire expansion in terms of like really being valuable to shoot early, um, what I initially had always thought I was going to do is push the uh, treaties in particular. And that's just because those are going to be used by everybody every week. Every single crafter, like all of my crafters are going to have to buy them and have them made for me every single week. I do think it's going to be um, worthwhile to get to the ability to uh, craft these and supply these because everybody's going to need them. Everybody is going to need these. And, uh, yeah. Again, just, just being able to get your knowledge up by one. You know, it's a weak cooldown, I believe. You know, you're going to buy this. You know, if you're... I'm in, not if I'm, let's say if I'm an herbalist, you know, and I need that skill to go up, I'm going to be purchasing purchasing these through probably crafting orders every single week to get some made for me. Uh, that's one direction you can go, but at the same time, just the, the contracts, just as contracts have been around this entire time, contracts are still here, right? So for the people that want to push their reputation with, you know, any one of these, right? People are still going to be using those. Treaties are going to be super duper important. Um, I guess you have the Drake stuff, but I don't think that's nearly as important. I think cards are going to be a huge, huge spender. An absolute huge spender. I'm not in love with some of the other things, but yeah, profession equipment in general. I think I'm sleeping a little bit on how strong profession equipment is going to be and how people are really going to need these and need these at high quality to get the, as much random stat get as much um, to get as much resourcefulness or crafting speed or multi-craft or whatever it can do as possible I think I'm kind of sleeping on how profession equipment could actually be a uh, highly valuable thing to craft that's the direction I'm looking at um, hell you could be that guy who decides you want to make the best you know staffs in the game you can go that route too and you might be the only one because everybody else is gonna be going cards and missives and treaties and uh, you might be the only guy who can craft the staffs at a high quality and you can make a killing that way too so in particular and that's what over here right the, there's profession tools in the rune binding as well as going the staff route I really think that inscription has tons of options um, you can play it safe and go either the contracts or treaties. You can go big and want to spend money, want to make money. Uh, you can go for the Dark Moon card route. Um, and then you can even go something off the wall like profession tools or stabs. A lot of options here. But as I discussed initially, I do think that I might play it safe on a lot of my other professions to make good gold. And kind of like I did in BFA, I might funnel heavily into crafting Dark Moon decks. I think I'm going to go fire um, just to uh, make the big gold, right? So that's what I think I'm going to do. I think this is going to be my my big money maker, and everything else is kind of just going to be funneling the uh, funneling the gold into uh, pumping out uh, pumping out Dark Moon decks. So. And those are my launch plans, in particular to how I'm going to spec professions at the start of Dragonflight, and that was Alchemy and Inscription. The too long didn't watch version is for me personally, Alchemy, I'm going to go the transmutation route, that's pretty much all I'm going to focus on there. I'm going to push resourcefulness in particular, if it works the way I assume it's going to, with transmutes as well as multi-craft. Um, that's the direction I'm going to go for alchemy, and the direction I'm going to go for inscription is that's going to be hopefully my big money maker over everything else, and I'm going to push the Dark Moon decks hard, and basically all my other professions are going to be about making um, easy gold, I guess you can say, or um, the most tried and true methods of just making gold on my other professions, and I'm going to funnel heavily into pumping out Dark Moon decks at the start of the expansion like I did in BFA. And uh, that's 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 my launch plan. That's 
what I'm going to do again with inscription. There's many options you can go. I think inscription's in a fantastic spot for making gold. Um, I'm just going to go the uh, big spender route is, is what I'm going to do. So if you like what you saw today, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know what you would like to see. I do very much want to hear the direction you guys are going. I'm hoping you guys are all going different directions than me, to be honest. Um, but we've had some great discussion on the other videos about kind of what people are thinking. This is going to be a crazy time at the start of the expansion. Um, some people are probably going to lose some gold. I think the vast majority of us are going to make some pretty good gold. It's going to be really a crapshoot, to be honest, but it, it helps me in particular to kind of have a plan going into it, and that's kind of why I've decided to play it safe on the majority of my professions and have one I'm going to try to go big and go home, but, you know, go big or go home, but I'm not going to go uh, too heavy where I waste too much. I'm going to kind of hit the ground running on it, and if it seems like I can pump out big profits, I'll keep doing it. If not, I will just transition into one of the other things I had talked about. Um, but with that said, I will see you guys in the next one.